Hey, my name's Chris Love. I'm from the Information Lab and this is my Good to Great series. Today I want to share with you quadrant analysis in Tableau. Um, quadrant analysis is, is a lot of fun to do. It produces some nice visits and it was something I shared at our Leicester Viz Club. And the guys encouraged me to uh, do a quick blog post on it. So here I am. I'd like to look at profit um, in superstore sales and I'd like to do that across... 2013 2014 and look who's improved over that time who's dropped off whether there are some constant winners across the profit across those two years etc so let's see what kind of thing we can do first of all I'm going to need to create a couple of measures I've only got sales here and that's broken down by order date but what I don't have is a sales for 2013 and a sales for 2014 that I'd like to put on a scatter plot. So the first thing I need to do is create those measures. So I'm going to right click, create a calculated field, and say if the year of my order date is equal to 2013, then let's look at profit. Okay, so this is my 2013 profit. I'm going to copy that. So this is going to give me nulls where the, the data, the order date of the year doesn't have 2013 in, but that's okay. I just want to look at those that profit for 2013 using this measure. The other values are fine being blank. So create another calculated field, 2014 profit. The year to 2014, exactly the same formula. And now I've got two values that I can drop on. I'm going to put 2013 across the bottom of my scatter plot and 2014 across the top. Let's make those averages. Oh no, let's leave them as sums. I'm probably more interested in the sums actually. Um, the sum of the profit is perhaps a, a more valuable measure to me. What do I want to break that down by? Well, let's break it down by country. And let's break that down by subcategory. Super. So we can see that we've got a bunch of people up here who are kind of leading the way. A bunch of guys down here who aren't doing too great. This Spain phones is doing quite well in 2014 in terms of profit wasn't doing great in 2013. So let's turn this into a bit of a visualization that means a bit more. One of the things that we could do is do it straight from here. What I'd like to do is separate out some of the stuff down here by looking at percentiles rather than the individual profit values. My highest profit I'd like to give the 100th percentile working down to the 0th percentile for my lowest profit. That will help separate out those those guys down here. So how do we do that? It's a very quick table calculation. Come down here to percentile. I'm just going to choose that. At the moment it doesn't know how to calculate that percentile, so I need to tell it what to compute over. Now I'd like it to do the percentile across both country and subcategory. It's not available in my compute using to do both of those, so I need to come into the edit table calculation, come down to here, here to advanced, and move the calculation to address over both those values. That's going to mean that every value gets a value between 0 and 100 in my percentile. Right, we're getting somewhere. We need to do the same for 2013, so quick table calculation, percentile. <coughs> Edit that. Add the address in again. And there we go. You can see that these middle values are becoming a bit more spaced out now. So, now what do we need to do? Well, I'd quite like to see the number of records that we're dealing with in each country. So I'm going to put number of records on size. I'm going to change this to a circle. I'm probably also just going to just click on colour and change 
down the transparency a little bit. There we go, perhaps that was too low. Let's put it about just there. A little bit lower? Yeah. Perfect. Perhaps I'll up the size a little bit just so you can see those smaller marks a bit better. Right click and hide this indicator as well. We don't need that. We know that there's going to be null values there because of the way we created this 2013 profit, 2014 profit measure. Right. At the moment these are quick calculations. I'm going to move them down here so they actually appear as calculations up here. So drag and drop them. When using my left mouse button, it's going to ask me for a name. So this is my 2013 profit percentile. I'm just going to make sure that Tableau knows that when I'm using this, my number format, I'd like to be a percentage. Let's say no, well, let's say one decimal place. Let's do the same with this one. Drag it down here. Give it a name, 2014 profit percentile. Right click, default properties for the number format. We'd like it to be a percentage with one decimal place. Super, you can now see my axes have changed. These values have changed so that I know what I'm visualising. Great, but I'd like to use this as a, as a bit of a quadrant analysis. So what I'm going to do is drag on some reference lines. I'd like a constant line. I'm going to add it to 2013 first and do that at the 0.5, i.e. the 50%, the median value for those profits. Let's just edit that because I'd like to get rid of this value down here. It's gone. Do the same with another constant line, 2014. 0.5, right click, edit that, and remove the value because we know it's 50%. Super. The other thing I want to do is just get rid of these zero values just here. The axis is just dipping below where I want it to. So I'm just going to change this. We're in Tableau 9.2, the latest release, as of uh, the 11th of December 2015. So I'm just going to change these to be between 0 and 1. We know our data is fixed there. And I'm going to do the same just here. Super. Started to come to life a little bit. But I'd like to add a couple of other things. Well, let's get rid of the grid lines. I'm not particularly keen on having those around. So right click and format. Come to my format just here. Click on none for the grid lines. Gets rid of those. The other thing I want to do is change the colour. To change the colour, I'm going to come up here and create a new calculation. I'm going to be imaginative, call it colour. We're in England, so we're going to spell it with a U, just for you Americans. So, if my 2013 profit percentile is less than or equal to 0 0.5 and my 2014 let's make this a bit bigger so you can see it. profit percentile if that's less than or equal to 0 0.5 then where are we? we're in the bottom right quadrant I'm going to copy this and say else if my 2013 percentile is greater than 0.5, but my 2014 percentile is less than 0.5. Where are we going to be? Well, 2013 is greater than 0.5. We're going to be over here. 24. So we're going to be in the bottom right-hand corner. So that's that's just here. This one I just did was bottom left, wasn't it? Come on, Chris, wake up. So bottom left, my less than 0.5 less than 0 0.5 2013 greater than 0 0.5 2014 less than 0 0.5 so this one is the other way around if 2014 is greater than 0 0.5 2013 is less than 0 0.5 so let's copy that and say greater than just here so this 
is going to be my top left. Now one more to go. If they're both greater than 0.5, where are we? Should be quite easy. Top right. Else, our calculation's wrong. So I'm going to put error. We should have covered all the values here. Use less than or equal to for the 0.5 exact values. So that's all working. This error will just catch anything. So now we've got that colour, I can literally drag it to colour. There we go. Starting to get some values. We've got nothing on error, so that's good. In fact, we could exclude our error values from our legend. There we go. These colours start to tell us something about the data. Let's make those points even bigger so we can just see those pop a little bit. But I'd like to add, lastly, an annotation here. If you're going to use annotations, and you're going to add a few of them. My top tip is to get the format right first. So I'm going to come to Format just here and Annotations. And I'm just going to tell it that I don't want a box. I'd like to use the Consalis font, one of my favourite fonts for use in Tabular. I'd like to make it size 26 and I'd like to make it this kind of grey colour just here and bold. I don't want a box, as I've just said. Let's make sure there's no border. Having no box will do that anyway. Um, I'm going to do an area annotation, so I'm not bothered about the line just here. OK, so now when I add my annotation, they're all going to be formatted like that, rather than me individually formatting them. So, we've got Consolis, 26, bold, just like we wanted. So, what are these guys in the top left? These are the improvers. These are the guys who had poor profit in 2013. They had a low percentile. But they had a high percentile in 2014. I'm going to literally call these improvers. Let's size that. Beautiful. What are these guys? Well, I don't know what to call these. These are... These are the losers. Um, we probably shouldn't call those losers. There's some. Uh, these need some work. Uh, do I use title caps? Yeah, let's use title caps. There we go. So these guys need some work. These guys. Oh, these are declining. These used to have good profit. Oops. These used to have good profit. So. Uh, oh, I've lost my font here. One second. Let's get that back to the right colour. I'll cancel that. Go back in. Annotate. There we go. So, these were high profit. 2013. Sorry, 2014. High profit 2013. Now they're low. So these are the guys who were, who are declining. Now my favourites, the guys who are doing quite well for themselves. These are the leaders. Super. So now we can we could fix the tooltips, just play with those. But generally, we've got a quite a nice viz that tells us something about our data. We can see that phones in Spain used to be on the eleventh, around the eleventh percentile last year in terms of profit. They now whacked up to the ninety fourth percentile. Two thousand and fourteen. What a fantastic result. What about down here? Austria Appliances, 81st percentile of 2013, 41st percentile in 2014. Not good, we need to focus on those to get them back up, because they used to be doing very well. What's happened? In the same way, as we look across this diagonal, we can then see people like this, French chairs, used to be 
100th percentile. It used to be the top performers, but they did right down in 2014. So this side of the diagonal is still declining, even if it's in this quadrant. This side is improving. Fantastic, useful chart, and one that people immediately understand because of the annotation. It's been a lot of fun building it. It's, it's quite easy, there's a few table calculations in there, but they're nice quick ones. You don't need to use table calculations, you don't need to use the percentile to separate these out. I could have done that with the original chart. Like I say, have fun, use the annotations, contact me if you've got any questions. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.